Hey everyone, hi, this, um, this is me. So I'm gonna be talking about working at Best Buy and I was working for Intel company about computers. So the job, let's do a breakdown. So I was working for two companies at the same time. I was working for Intel representative. I represent um, like um, Best Buy about, and we have to learn about graphics card. There's so much we have to learn. Uh, we learned about, hold up, I got the script right here in my phone. Uh, marketing, I have to do marketing, surveys, computer knowledge, graphics, car processors, demos, tracking, computer sales, technician support, trainings. We have to train coworkers about like, um, you know, when there's no computers, we have to know about the model, the GPU, CPU, memory, uh, speed, graphics card, fan speed, and then how you can upgrade the storage if you have a gaming laptop device, you know. So yeah, so I would say it was really challenging working at Best Buy because you have to be like a really smart technology geek, I guess. And they have this computer where they call the squawk, the squawk geek where they fix computers, you know, for people. So yeah, I had to like, I was represented from Microsoft. I was just, I was doing so much. I was working, learning about computers, you know, graphics card. And what I learned about gaming on um, computers, um, especially is that they have a good intense like quality gaming like hd you know there's like 4k 24k you know computers so yeah um i know like the top computer brands right now are intel intel um evos those are new ones so those are really fast turning on computer less than a second especially um some some computers they turn on slowly when you like push a power button you know especially so yeah, Intel Evos are the new laptops, and the most top selling laptops are I would say Intel uh, Evos are the top selling laptops. Um, the lamp, there's a there's a laptop name called let's see, the Novo Yoga. There's a yoga um laptop that's really trending. So people are buying it. It's a really like thin computer and it's really light. Um, they have touchscreen now, especially like, I noticed that most computers, they don't have like a hard drive DVD where you put your DVD because those don't exist anymore. So everything is like technology software. Now you could get free music on Spotify and stuff like that. So yeah. And then we're looking at the memory storage. There's like 500 GB. Sometimes there's like 16 gig, you know, on these laptops, especially. And I break down to this point, when you're looking for computers, you want to look for the right usage based on what you're going to be using for. Are you going to be using it for school? Are you going to be using it for gaming? Or are you going to be using it for um, like office job related? Are you going to be like using it for computer programming, like coding? You know, those are the stuff you want to ask when you want to shop for laptop, especially because this is how coworkers can help you to identify like which laptop is the best for you, for your fit, you know? So yeah, for example, if you're in film production and you want to do Photoshopping, then you will need to tell them that if you want to like buy laptops at Best Buy, you know? Best Buy is the best place to buy a laptop because they have more computer options than other like retail stores, because I know for sure. Um, I worked at Best Buy, so I know. Um, and the toughest questions that I ever got from a customer asking me, do you know how to find a TV cable, like connect it to, you know, like HDMI to like something, like something like that, you know? I couldn't answer it because I was not working at the TV department. I was working at the computer tomorrow, so department, because I know more about computers than TV. So there's things that you need to know about Best Buy. It's like, you get like crazy questions by customers and you have to know how to answer them, especially. Like you have to know like, where are the stuff um, located? You know, if they're looking for cables or they're looking for SD card, or they're looking for like adapter chargers, plugs, you need to know all this, you know? So working at Best Buy can be hectic, especially sometimes because you have to know a lot about technology and you have to be fast and think fast too, especially. You'll get angry customers and they'll be like, what do you mean you don't know what you're doing? You work here and you should know this, you know? Um, yeah, and the scary thing about my manager at um, Intel is that he will, he will ask me questions and test me on stuff. He'll be like, what are the top selling computers? What do you know about this computer? Um, how can you sell this to me? Like, 
you know, I would say, hi, welcome um, to Best Buy. You know, this is the best um, laptop Intel Evo right now that is like a trendy. A lot of customers are saying that's really good. You should definitely buy it and it has a good fast speed. It turns on less than a second. You need to know all this really quick, especially like how I'm describing it right now. If you're selling computers to someone, you know, Best Buy. So, yeah. Um, how I got the job, I applied on Indeed.com. Um, and then I was working for this company called Action Link. And then they hired me in the spot. It was a full interview. It was like a two interview I would have to go through, you know, the manager and then the system manager. So yeah, they liked me. So they hired me right away. I was working at the Best Buy. Um, I'm not gonna say the location where I was working because it's private, <laughs> but I don't work there anymore. But um, I was working there from October, 2020. That's when it started like around Halloween, I would say. And then I ended my job around April 2021. Um, I left because I want to like build my experience and change positions. And then, yeah, after that, I went to Warner Brothers. And then Warner Brothers, I went to Ripley's um, at Hollywood. And then I quit my job, which because I'm stressed, I'm in college right now. Um, that's why, I, um, yeah. So yeah, about working at Best Buy, I would say like the coworkers are really friendly, but I was like a coordinator at Intel, like I would tell customers like, hey, what do you think about this laptop? Do you think we need to change something or, you know, give them like an idea about like what they want, you know? And then I have to train coworkers. I was like, hey, you guys need to do this training and watch this video. It's really good. You guys watch this video. Um, it helps, it talks about the breakdown of computers, about like the software programs and how it's run, the memory, the chip motherboard cpu gp graphics processing unit so you need to know all these um into like in order to you know sell computer to people you know if you don't know this how are you going to sell computer to people right so there's the reason why computers are being explained this way because it just depends on different types of users who which people are, are using for gaming there's different types of genre that you're looking for computers so you want to go look for the right computer for, you, for yourself, you know, that are going to benefit you and it's going to be a long lasting for you, definitely. And I do recommend a computer worth uh, memory for one TV because it holds tons of files. The reason why I say this is because those are like stronger, for my opinion, I like gaming laptops because they're stronger. They can't do anything much and they can hold tons of files. You can do business with it, but I wouldn't. <laughs> buy a gaming laptop because if your manager sees you playing games and you know in your laptop then you will get fired for a job so it's a bad thing i wouldn't recommend that um so if you're more into business definitely buy more business computers so i would recommend like going towards microsoft um, laptops those are good options and definitely i know hp is a good one um then noble the brand is a good one and i believe asus too all of them are good it just depends like your price point, how much you want to buy it for. And it just depends. And to be honest, most computers cost a lot now. They're like $1,000. Like some of them are $1,500. The reason why they're expensive because, you know, software's are changing, the upgrading especially. And every year there's always new technology, right? So they always come up with new technology, you know? So yeah. I hope you guys learned so much about what I'm talking about and, you know, understand how to buy laptops and like look for the descriptions, you know, pay attention to little things when you research um, computers, you know. The best website I ever used was Intel Retail Edge. So what is that? So what is this website? Well, it talks about, it breaks down to the points of computers, graphics, card, talked about which computer is the best business, which so many different computer, you know, so yeah. Yeah, so um, I'll say this job was kind of hard and I was kind of like um, having like a little bit of a headache, you know, learning a lot, all these information about computers and digesting it yourself. It's so much to learn. It's like you have to learn it, day, like take it one at a time, day by day, you know. It's like kind of learning about like programming and then it's like you have to help customers like about software, they, like how to set up the career for them, you know, you need to learn how to do that um so yeah um working there was a lot of work definitely um i had to explain to customers oh which laptop's the best for them i was like hey this is the best set for you if not you could go with this option b you know 
The reason why I say don't buy cheap laptops, you know why? Because they're, um, excuse my language, but they're shitty as fuck, you know? You do not want to buy laptops that are like, you know, where they break down like last year. Like, for example, you buy a laptop for like, for, for like $200 or 300 those are not good. Those are like made of plastics material laptop. You want to look for a really good material laptops, like really strong metal, aluminum metal, you know? Those are more strong protective when you drop your laptop. See the difference right there. I have a, how I'm explaining about laptops. They, there's plastic ones that they make. There's real metals that they make. So you want to buy real metal. Think about like the more, the more money I spend on the product, right? The more it's going to last me. If you buy like a cheap product and it's not going to last you and it breaks, that's it. You know, that's leaves to that money to the trash. Why, why spend a laptop like, for like 300, you know, that's like, like a baby thing, you know, I understand some people are broke, you know, but that's my opinion, because I feel like you guys want good quality laptop, I'm trying to help you guys out, you know, the reason why I say to buy a really good quality laptops, because they are safe, and they last like about like five or five years, you know, and every year you have to replace it, so most laptops with the cheap ones, they only last about two years, think about it, you know, for me, I I like using Apple laptops. I'm not gonna lie, they well, it slowed down after like I used it for two to three years because it was less memory. But their their computer are really good. I'm not gonna lie, the the computer MacBooks laptops I used it. They're really amazing. Um, like you know the power on is really strong and the software how how it runs, especially we want to pay attention to that too. You know, so yeah. So yeah, so much information to dive in, as you guys can see. I was talking about computers, but yeah. What else can I say? Um, I have to track sales too, especially um, when I enter a survey and I clock out. I'll say, so the description of the, about the survey is like, they asked me like how many people buy MacBooks, you know, for example. Uh, how many people buy like um, Google Chrome laptops, you know? Um, how many people buy Nova Yoga Intel? evil laptops you know and how many people buy like hp and dell you know they ask me like monitors they don't want to buy monitors they don't want to buy desktops you know so yeah especially let's talk about desktops so desktop is not like the monitor you know how there's like a monitor and there's like a power switch connected to the desktop um so let's talk about desktop so desktop is like a power programming source you know that word it runs for business, runs for gaming. There's types of different complicated, you know, software. So I hope you guys understand what I'm talking about that. Like the monitor that's connected to the power source right here, you know, where you plug into your USB, kind of like that thing right there. Yeah, that's what I'm talking about. There's razor blade is a good one, I know for sure. Um, I know Omen, HP Omen, they're changing the game level now. They're creating like gaming laptops. It's crazy when I look at Intel Retail Edge, they're creating like tons of viral and trends of gaming laptop because a lot of guys are into gaming or either females too, you know. Um, statistics have shown that people love laptops with good quality, like programming, software, graphics car, you know. Um, yeah, so I hope you guys learned something. Sorry, that was my phone. <laughs> um, so yeah. It's really important um, to look at these specs too when you shop for laptop. Take your time. There's no need to rush. Um, you could always like um, go forward with it, you know, or maybe buy it later on. Um, if you can't afford to buy a laptop, definitely open the credit card Best Buy because they can do something about it if you're coming for a low income. I know people can be poor. They can't afford laptop over like $1,000 or more. You know, it's crazy. Yeah. So, Anyways, I hope you guys like this video. Please like and subscribe. Um, thank you.